At just 16 years old, this girl is facing a criminal homicide charge accused in an attack that took the life of 14-year-old Malia Powell. Detectives say the deadly stabbing stemmed from a fight at a Nashville Walmart. Thank you for joining us. I'm Vicki Yates. Rory is off tonight. News Channel 5's Kelsey Gibbs spoke with the victim's mother, coming to grips with the fact that her daughter is gone. But this is her spot. That's why we put the memorial right here. Ebony Powell made a makeshift memorial in her front lawn to remember the life of her youngest child. Really, uh, she was sweet, smart, sassy, energetic. And she loved outdoors. She loved life. Malia's young life at just 14 was cut short. Powell says her daughter left the park with some friends and went into Walmart before coming home. I never get to see my baby again. Police say Malia and the 16-year-old suspect, Isabel Jackson, first ran into each other inside the store. Powell says she was told her daughter confronted the teen for stealing. The two exchanged words. It continued into the parking lot near the WeGo bus stop. Police say the teen started fighting, and Jackson pulled out a knife, stabbing Malia in the neck. You don't kill people. Yeah, it's a human life. Powell was relieved to hear the teen has been arrested, but says it won't bring her daughter back. All they got stolen from us. Not just from me, her. It was stolen from her. This beautiful angel. The place Malia was killed now sits with flowers to remember the teen's young life. I want all my love to be strong for her right now. I don't want to. I don't want to feel that anger yet. So I'm reserving it, but I am angry. The Bellevue Middle School cheerleader, who loved a selfie nature, her friends and family, was ready to enter her first year of high school. Now her family is planning her funeral. We need to do a better job, you know, with teaching our kids, you know, how to deal better with, with situations and, and things of that nature, you know, because we fail in our kids. Powell says she wants parents to start talking to their kids about how to handle anger. So no other mom has to go through what she is going through. In Nashville, Kelsey Gibbs, News Channel 5. Thanks, Kelsey. Police say surveillance video from Walmart helped them to identify Jackson as the suspect.